baobab trees make great bonsai specimens and these trees originally originate from Africa and the Sudan and there are various species but this is Ansonia digitata and today what I'm going to show you is on this bonsai baobab that's 10 years old roughly 10 years old right now I have grafted a mature piece of baobab tree that I was able to get I'll tell you all about it when we come right back all right, let's talk about what we did here this is a bonsai baobab tree that's roughly 10 years old I grew this from a seed and I've subsequently done a lot of things to this to this baobab what I did the first thing I did was several years ago is I actually made an air layer from the top of this tree reduced it obviously much smaller and have kept it in this container for a very long time literally 10 years um, you can see now and we'll talk about the graft in just a moment but you can see that the leaves here are looking pretty uh, kind of worn out and they're kind of falling off and that's because these baobab trees will go into dormant period where they just go completely dormant they lose their leaves and there's just nothing going on and they're going to be like that in their normal environment which would be Africa or the Sudan places like that these trees would be completely bare no leaves whatsoever and they can do that uh, for several several months six seven months but here in South Florida it's a little different we have lots and lots of rain uh, during the rainy season and only a few months when we don't have a tremendous amount of rain and when they stop getting water and they start sensing cooler weather they, they will begin to drop their leaves now with that said this piece here is the grafted piece where I did what's called a splice graft on this one it's similar to a wedge but the way you cut it it's a little different but anyway look at how healthy and vibrant these leaves are compared to the rest so what I did is basically take a piece of wood that was about twice this length so I did another baobab seedling that I also grafted and I'll show you what that looks like towards the end of this video but this baobab wood that you see here came from a mature baobab tree that I was able to find over at Hollywood Young Circle that's in Florida it's in downtown Hollywood now I didn't climb the tree I didn't bring a knife and I didn't cut anything because I probably get arrested but I was lucky because I remember going there a couple of times a year and sometimes I see branches on the ground that are fresh and pretty green so I got lucky that day I found a small branch on the ground that looked like the wind knocked it off it was a windy day and it was from the tip of a larger branch and it was nice and fresh and green and I right away wrapped it up so I always bring a little plastic bag and I always bring parafilm whenever I'm out in the park because you never know you might you might need it so I wrapped it up protected it got it home grafted it right away and this was done 30 days ago so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut away the parafilm and we're gonna look at what the graft looks like all right so I hope you can see this here I'm gonna be cutting away off the rest of the parafilm I'm gonna be real careful that I don't damage any of the leaves or any of the buds on here so I have to go real careful here all the way up along the side and then I'll separate it like this and I'll show you what the whole thing looks like in just a second all right so here it is I'm gonna remove that last piece of uh, piece of rubber band that we use to hold the graft together and if you look carefully here you'll see there's this is a a splice graft where you'll see a cut this way you see a cut this way and then you'll see another cut on the scion so the scion has one two cuts here and then this piece is cut and what we do is we cut on the edges on the outside here and we snap them together so to speak we bring them together and that's a splice so you can see it's nicely healed over and then you have here the new growth we're going to keep it well watered we're going to keep it well fertilized and keep it healthy i don't know what's going to happen to this new growth because like i said earlier this growth here is going dormant um, but this had so much vigor this branch that you can see that in 30 days how much success we have and how nicely how nicely fused that is so there you have it I have a piece of scion that has fused beautifully here and uh, it's going to be a tree that will very likely begin to fruit in less than a year
All right, well, there you have it. A Baobab bonsai of the variety Adansonia digitata growing in a container with a splice graph that's doing fantastic. We'll see you guys again. Thank you for tuning in. Check us out on Instagram, will you? Have a great one.